Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the bill code number RPRS2SS-E. So RPRS2SS-E. This is a this is an this is a lifting mechanism, shock spring, 180 pound rated in stainless steel for Bilco roof hatches sometimes known as older roof hatches or certainly ones that require um, a stainless sort of unit applied. The way that they send these out is compressed. So I can tell you the dimensions of it in the compressed position. Because I can't recompress this after I remove or during installation, you'll cut the tie and then remove the cotter pin I can't tell you what the extended length is because I don't have any way to recompress a 180 pound spring. But the center from the eye hole where the screw is going to go down to the bottom of the boot is 13 inch. And overall length, just for, just for archiving the data, is about 13 and 5 sixteenths. Overall diameter of the top tube appears to be about an inch and a half. And then the lower tube is about an inch and three eighths. That boot that's down there, about an inch and three quarter by inch and a half. And this video is to certainly serve as uh, dimensional evidence of the item. So again, ships compressed after you get this put in place is when you will pull the, cut the band and pull the pin. This is also going to include two upper brackets, and sometimes you see units with one upper bracket, sometimes with two. Obviously the two are meant to straddle over the eye, uh, the eyelet mounting top post or the lid post. With that you are going to get a bolt, a nut and a bolt in stainless. You obviously get the idea, hopefully, of how that installs. And you'll bolt it all together. You will get the bottom boot area for your, your unit to sit into. Okay. You know what? Let's go over the dimensional properties of the angle brackets. Overall width, 3 inch, depth, about an inch and 3 eighths and overall height, three and a half inch. And they're handed, one of each, okay? That bottom boot, let's go over the width, about two and a quarter, uh, two and an eighth. Overall height, about one and seven eighths, with a projection of about an inch and seven eighths. You're going to get two machine hex cap screws, again, in stainless, with nylon lock nuts for the bottom boot. Then finally you will get the four hex cap machine bolts for the lid. You'll get four of those. And that comprises everything that you would get with this shock. I get the question often, um, well I get lots of questions um, more specifically about this What's the length of it when it's not compressed? I don't know. Um, I will amend this video should I have that data available to me at some point. How many would I need on, on a door? Well, it depends on, on the weight of the lid, but generally for a small size, a 30 by 36, 36, 36, you generally see one, but depending on all of the requirements of the hatch, you might have two. The most common question is, will it work for my application? Meaning a client will have literally a custom made hatch and they want to fit this onto that and I would love to be able to tell you if it would work but I can't because I don't know because there are lots of when you think about it there are lots of things that conspire to mate a hatch with a, a lifting mechanism with a hatch the size of the hatch the lid the weight of the lid the geometries of where the hinge pin is, where you're going to mount it to the sidewall and then to the underside of the lid. 
I've had people that have installed these and said, well, I can't open it to 90 degrees because these two telescoping tubes leave each other. Yes, I, I don't really see roof hatch lids that go to 90. They go to 80 degree. Um, in, in those instances, I have suggested that people simply reposition what they're doing to try to account for that. Uh, so I don't have testing data on all of the possible scenarios of lid size versus weight versus geometry mounting points, hinge pin mounting points. Um, and, and, and Vilco doesn't entertain questions like that because they sell them for their hatches. And the one way guaranteed that they can tell you what you need is that we would take the serial number off the sidewall of your unit and then the manufacturer can pull up the original bill of materials for that and tell us exactly what is required for that. So that's always the safety catch-all. However, the dimensional properties of the shock as provided hopefully will give you, and then a visual overview of this double tongue mounting point with a boot at the bottom based on the length will hopefully get you to easily determine if it's a valid replacement for you. There are images down below this video showing all of the parts that I've gone over so that you can visually identify whether or not this is accurate. Some installation instructions are there and those installation documents have evolved over time because some of them show a compression tool. Well they've done away with the tool that's there because they are um, sending them compressed, so keep that in mind. If you have a scenario where you're only going to have one bracket installed, replace that one bracket. Uh, and the reason they would send two is in those instances when you don't require two, they send two so that you don't have to worry about what side of the lid. When you lift the lid up, the left is on the left and the right is on the right. They don't have to worry about what side you have to mount it on, so you'll have one bracket of each. Um, so a little bit of guesswork is involved, but when we analyze the data and then of course ultimately um, can talk to the factory and work back what it would be based on the original serial number, we can always get a replacement for a Bilco hatch. If you're making one on your own, you're kind of on your own, but I hope that the dimensional properties I've given will allow you to get closer to it. If you're making your own, it's probably not going to be nearly as heavy as a standard Bilco hatch and keep in mind that they will have a in the stainless round metal version they will have a 100 pound variant as well which is going to be the RPRS 2 oh, this is the RPRS 2 SS dash E they will have an RPRS 1 SS dash E uh, that would be the 100 pound version of the stainless tube uh, and then keep in mind uh, you're going to see these re these lifting mechanisms uh, in a variety of different weight categories. They've got them that go up to 400 pounds be and then they will have units that have four of them installed or even more, six of them installed because you're lifting a sidewalk vault style door that weighs hundreds and hundreds of pounds. Finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Bilco products that we sell, but a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. If you have any questions on the Bilco RPRS 2 SS-E 180 pound stainless lifting mechanism or any other Bilco product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.